In the beginning, it was a 150-year-old forgotten, well, let's just call it a mess. As a former NFL player for the Indianapolis Colts in the early days, I was used to being dragged to the dirt. So I bought the place. And I'll tell you, it wasn't going to make any Chamber of Commerce brochures back then. We named it the Crane Bay. OK, so this is the first time Rolling Stone magazine has thrown a party at a Super Bowl location. Yes, is that it right? is. <laughs> what took yes. you guys so long? Almost by coincidence, we connected with Gary Pageant over at the Crane Bay. And he was building this great new venue in the industrial space around Lucas Oil Stadium. Suddenly, we had to get serious, man. This is the big time. Super Bowl. So immediately, we needed to get the word out to the right local people about our parties and events that we were going to have here at the Crane Bay. So I joined the Indianapolis Chamber. They were out there to help me get the word out to everybody that needed to know. We were on their website, email blasts, discount to members. They did it all. Now I had to worry about getting this place ready. Can you say sleepless nights? We made it. Not only made it, we made it big. The number one ranked Super Bowl party of 2012. I really couldn't have done it without the support of the chamber. I mean, people were swinging from the rafters, and the chamber didn't stop there. Now the chamber is taking an active part in making the Crane Bay an even greater success, and even more so, setting the stage for an exciting revitalization of this section of downtown Indianapolis. Super job, Indy Chamber.